Madam Speaker, as a father and a grandfather, I know the love that a family feels for their children. And it doesn't begin on the day they're born. It starts when you first learn that the prayers have been answered and that a new life is being brought into the world. But as we talk today on this particular subject, a lot of people don't realize that there have been many things that have occurred in my life and my family's life that make this a very personal issue. 38 years ago, um, my wife uh, was a junior in high school, and I had just left for Marine Corps boot camp. We weren't married. And she discovered that we were going to have our first child. She had five teachers that thought that it would be a good idea because she was such a great student to not ruin her life by having a child. And those five teachers encouraged her to go and receive an abortion. I thank God. that she understood the importance of life because that child who would have been aborted now serves in the United States Marine Corps and is a major and will probably be a light colonel before long. He also has a law practice in our hometown. He's raised four children. He's an outstanding citizen. He serves on the county board. He's a respected uh, uh, member of society. He's even studying to go into the ministry. I'm so glad of the choice that she made. Now let me tell you that her life wasn't ruined. And she might jokingly say, well, I've still been with you for 38 years. But um, her life, she went on and while she used her time at, well, we were in 29 Palms, California in the Marine Corps, she actually took credit hours and sent that back to our home high school where she graduated in the top 10 of her class. And as a mother and as a um, youth minister and as a business owner, she has showed others by example. So really, as we move forward and we talk about this debate, there's other concerns that, 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 that I have. And that is that we in this body and in this nation need to realize that there are certain questions that come up. When does life begin? When does life begin? Let me say that fast forward in our lives, our oldest daughter on July 26th, 2002, discovered that her twins were in trouble uh, in the womb. And well, actually it was before that. And, and, and they actually, we took her to a hospital in St. Louis. It was just after my son's wedding. And, um, her and her husband, who had an older child at the time, they discovered that uh, these two twins had what was known as a joint communication, and, and, and they were trying desperately to get those, those, that babies, those babies from 25 weeks to 26 weeks. But on July 26th, we lost Hallie uh, in the womb, which then drove my daughter Casey into labor, and then we held Eliana for one hour and 35 minutes as she passed. Now, we've had legislation that quite often says at that point that abortion should go ahead and occur. Well, I need to let you know that I've seen what a child looks like at 24 and 25 weeks. And that is not, that is not the time that we need to say that that's not a life. Folks, I do believe that life begins at conception. It is my sincere belief that the Ameri America is only as strong as the willingness to protect the weakest and most vulnerable among us. And let me also say this, that my family also participates in those opportunities to help young women who have maybe have an unwanted pregnancy. Also to help people who have chose not to choose life and also minister to those who have lost children. And my daughter's in that ministry as well through a group called Tender Mercies. But that's why I fought in Congress to eliminate taxpayer funded for abortion, funding of abortion and to preserve pro-life health care providers the right of conscience. Now tomorrow, we're once again going to have the March for Life, which 
This pro-life movement is growing stronger all the time as well it should as science is proving when life begins. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you listen. I hope you get involved, and I hope you understand that there's a need.